a bongiorno. Since the sun isn't out this morning, I want to try to take a video <coughs> so I don't get the glare. But um, so anyway, this is a this is the uh, gate which leads to um, the uh, villa here that's owned by Enrico and Vera. And uh, if you can see two little blue chairs in the distance, that's the little stairway that goes up to the apartment where we're staying just above. These are uh, kiwi plants that are hanging, they're just full of kiwis. Uh, their patio just down below here. And you can see the walkway that leads all the way down to the bottom of the village. And Kolodi, as some of you know, is uh, the village in which the story Pinocchio was written. And there's a park down below. And you may not see it in this video, but just between the trees uh, is a giant Pinocchio standing up out of the, um, out of the, the tree lines. And uh, there's a sneaky cat working his way up the tile. These cats climb walls like I, they climb these stone walls like crazy. Um, a lot of birds around. So that's the pathway leads down to the village, um, maybe like a quarter mile. And then this is a pathway that leads up. And uh, this one kind of winds up through, and I'll go up. Um, most of these places have all been restored. Uh, historically on the outside because there's codes um, some like like this one here has not been restored you can see right through the it's just open there's no not even a roof others I just have these century old doors still in place and others people are living in them now and, they, and it's getting to be the, the norm where people are buying them and uh, they're pretty some of them really nice on the inside and this is quite a steep grade here. This this grade, grade where I'm coming up here is probably drops like close to a, a foot and a half on on four feet. So that's quite a steep grade. You see the pathway that leads down the other side. Uh, and this little area here is a little plaza where centuries ago the uh, people would gather here and uh, women would wash their clothes here. Here's just a quick view down the, the other side, if you can see. Uh, this is the mostly used side, so you see a lot of plants and the people just have beautiful entryways. And most of the doors uh, in this little village were built by Enrico, who, who the, the people were renting from. And he's in his 70s and just a master carpenter and builds these amazing doors and shutters and everything's really, really nice. This is where um, the women used to wash their clothes. It's been fixed up. This is not what it quite looked like then, but you get an idea from these stones. I'm sure these are the original stones where they would have washed their clothes on. Pretty cool. Buongiorno. I just love these buildings with all the brick and stone put in. This one's been had some restoration done to it. Now I'm walking up. <laughs> walking up here. Again, this is a steep grade. Here's some the old doors. Good thing to have handrails. And here's some that have been fixed up. They look quite nice. I have to pay attention where I'm walking here. <coughs> You don't start from the bottom, work, walk all the way up here without taking a break. It just kind of winds back and forth. It's really cool. Now I'm looking back down into the village. I don't know how far you can see, but it's awesome. And here, people have their plants, cacti. Old uh, postal letter place. And up we climb some more which I will use a handrail now. And up top, here's a view across, so we're, we're gaining elevation. And some of the building, and little terraces people have. Some work being done. And at the very top is a church in which last uh, Saturday night they had a wedding. We didn't get to come up 
to see it, but when we heard it bells ringing, uh, Vera told us there was a wedding going on, so that's going to be such a unique thing to be able to have a wedding in a, uh, you know, 500 plus year old church, small, small because it was just for the little community. Little alleyways between the buildings leading to someone's piazza. And over the last 50 years though, I guess in 1964 they brought water up from the city and have since brought gas up. You know, they have everything now. Power, gas, water. And again, a couple s stairs going up. Some of this stuff uh, not yet refurbished. Laundry day. Lots of pots. That's a tall one. Oh, Papino. <laughs> Two of them. Hey, puppies. Don't see a whole lot of dogs, but they're around. Buongiorno. More plazas. This one's been restored. You can tell by the uh, how it was jointed up. Some pretty cool doors. More twisty windy. Going back up higher. If I don't trip here, I'm in my sandals. Breathing getting heavier. Pulse rate higher. Now we're getting up there. Here's a view back, looking back down. That's the uh, where we've just come up through there. Here's a view of the valley from this point down below. Pretty woodsy in this area. But then as you see, uh, actually just to the north of, of this mountain, it continues to be mountains. And south is more all plains and, you know, uh, there's olive groves all over. Actually, <coughs> if I look across over the, the hilltop here, those are all olive groves all the way up and down um, the countryside, the hillside. <coughs> that in, uh, in front of me is uh, something to do with the church, but I don't know what. But the church is St. Bartholomew's, and that will be right here. I'll show you that. There's the old church, and uh, this is where the we they had the wedding. This is a, they left the bows up on the front door. So, you know, it's got to be pretty cool having a wedding up here. And you can just see the church tower in the foreground, and the bells work and ring, and uh, I don't have my uh, Roman math. I don't know why this says Restauranta, but I don't think it means resta restaurant, but there is a date on the stone, and if your Roman numbers are good, you can figure out what that date is. So, pretty cool. Uh, since I still think still working, I'll keep on going and take you all the way to the tippy top. <coughs> they have some construction work going on here. My old buddy's laying block up there. <coughs> I talked to him, but no capiche. Now, interestingly enough, on a lot of these buildings here is this emblem, which I believe means he is he is risen. And this is cool, but I have no idea what it was. But it was part of the whole 
watchtower. But as you can see, it's pretty much deteriorated from the top. But the walls look like they were three feet thick, and that didn't leave a whole lot in the middle once it was done. Uh, this is cool. Here are the blocks they build with. These are uh, clay tiles instead of our cement blocks. That's what they're using. And now we're traveling across the back side um, to the tower. This area here, this is a barn. And uh, these are cool tiles they have up here. They vent. They vent both ways, so we'll have them on both sides of the barn. We'll see them oftentimes on some of the bigger, you know, barn-type buildings. And they were used, used for venting. And uh, Enrico built these doors, and I guess he built the doors that just went by around the corner. So that's pretty cool. And this guy here probably works here. Buongiorno. And back around the other side, this is uh, under restoration. And uh, the city of Clodi has uh, spent a lot of money in restoring this because it is a, a cultural thing. And then the mountain continues up. So uh, that's our little tour of Clodi. And I will end it with a view of the cement mixer, which kind of what made this all happen for me. All right. Bono. No, buenos aires, no, buongiorno, uh, arrivederci, that's what I'm looking for.